What's up beautiful people, Dinsel here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this fully animated opening slide in PowerPoint. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing because I've noticed that almost 90% of you guys aren't subscribed yet, so please help me out. I'd absolutely appreciate that. Anyway, to start off, I've partitioned today's tutorial into three major parts. Feel free to skip to the part that you're interested at. Open a new project in PowerPoint. You can start with a blank canvas or just a default title template. Before you add anything else, open the selection pane. This would help you organize objects later. Then, type in the title and subtitle. You can also adjust the height of the text fields but this is optional. Duplicate the subtitle text by holding down the control key while dragging it above the main title. This will serve as a mini text element where you can put a chapter title for example. Assign a color to that and change its shape to a rounded rectangle. Don't worry about the color because we'll change that later anyway. Change the fonts you're liking, but in this design, I'll use Futura Bold. If you don't have Futura, you can also use a different font with a similar aesthetic. I'm just readjusting the text sizes to make these relatively small since we'll apply a grow animation later. Before adding any animation, open the animation pane first. This would help you track all animations you would apply. Select the subtext and add a fade animation. Decrease its duration as well. Add another animation and choose lines. Set its direction upward, decrease its duration, and max out the smooth end option. Hit OK. Select the animation track and grab its starting point downward. Do the same with the end point. Lastly, add another animation, but this time, Choose the Grow animation. Decrease its duration to around 0.75 milliseconds. Ramp up the smooth end and change how much it grows to 130%. Copy this animation and paste it on the other subjects. While the subtext is selected, click on the animation painter and select the other elements. By using the Animation Painter, you can also copy and paste animations to other objects. But for the main title, we are going to increase the Grow animation to 150%. For the subtitle, you can just apply the same animations from the subtext. There you go for the title text animation. We'll start with a blank canvas on this one. Change the background color to a darker shade of blue. We are going to create a dotted grid first, so to do that, we'll need to use some grids and guides. Enable the Snap Objects to Grid option, the Display Grid on the screen, and the Display Drawing Guides on screen. Hit OK. Create a tiny circle and change its color to white. I highly recommend to set the size of the circle to around 0.06, so in this way, the grid dots would be noticeable enough. Since the Snap Objects to Grid option is enabled, you don't have to worry about the grid dots going off point. Duplicate or copy and paste the tiny circle into many pieces until you cover the whole canvas. Once you're done, you can disable the grid and guide options. Now. We are going to create huge circles or gradient donuts. Make a big circle and make another circle but make it significantly smaller. Superimpose both circles to one another and merge both shapes together. Afterward, apply a gradient to that shape. If you have different preferences, you can also apply different gradient colors. Feel free to be creative. Do 
duplicate these three or more times but change sizes differently. In this case, since we're only dealing with three elements, the sizes big, medium, and large would be good. Position each circle in a manner where it creates an appealing flow to the eye. the circles first. Apply the same lines animation from the text animations earlier, but for the smallest circle, make the shortest path. Animation Painter, apply this animation to the bigger circle but increase the path length. Apply the same animation to the biggest circle and increase the length drastically. Add a shrink animation to the grid and make sure that the grid shrinks to just 90%. That's it for the background itself. We can now combine everything we've made so far. Simply copy, then paste the title to the slide with the background. Once you've pasted these titles, there might be some problems, so just sort it out. Apply some finishing touches to the design and animation. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to comment down below. And hey, please consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribing to this channel. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.